Alright guys, how's it going? Today as you can tell with the title is um, three unique species of mantis that we're going to unbox today. Well, one one isn't really unique, but you know, the, the, well, I suppose it is in your own way, but the other two are species that I haven't kept before and they do seem pretty cool. So it'll be really cool to see what they look like in person and actually raising these guys. So let's go. You can see that I've unboxed this a little bit already, obviously because my dressing stuff's on it. I'll put this down here actually, a bit, maybe a bit better. Obviously we just have the usual, oh yeah I forgot to mention these are actually from uh, Unseen Universe, this is from Mitch. A uh, really good breeder to use. One of, if not the most popular uh, breeder of praying mantises and you know other exotic animals in the UK. So yeah, definitely give them a, give them a try if you haven't used them before. So obviously we just have all our usual packaging oh there's one of our girls already yeah there she is there so this is our Vietnamese Vietnamese our Vietnamese mantis all right guys so this is a really really unique species well to me anyway but yeah they are they are quite well i say quite but they're actually really really awesome so this is a cryptic mantis also confirmed female I mean, sorry guys, I keep bloody going out of focus here, but uh, as you can see, they are quite a specimen to behold. She it appears that she's munched all her little flies. I don't know maybe if that Vietnamese girl is maybe due, um, if she's possibly maybe due a malt. Maybe that's why she ain't eating her fruit flies. But I won't let any fruit flies go to waste. What I'll do is I'll just open that little tub after I put her in her terrarium, I'll open that little tub and I'll just let them let them linger in the terrarium or I'll put them in that boy's terrarium and let the ghost mantis eat, uh, let him eat them. So as you can see guys, we'll obviously get better, a uh, better, better view of these, these beautiful creatures uh, when I take them out of their tubs and rehouse them. We'll do that obviously in this video. I mean, I'm not going to make that a separate video, that would just be, well you know. Oh god, the body focus. <laughs> So our last species guys is of course a budwing mantis, in fact where the hell is she? Ah there she is, she's hiding at the very very bottom. Now I know for a fact guys there'll be no gifts in here like you know spare mantises if you want to call them that like free gifts. I, I did say to Mitch that if, if he could like obviously I, I tried to say it like to make sure I didn't sound rude but like I didn't want any gifts or anything from him like Mitch is really usually really kind that way but like, I just literally don't have the room for them. If I had room for loads of mantises, I would definitely keep them. So this is our, our budwing girl. Well, it's a little strange when you open my tub and... Oh, I can't believe this phone's not focusing. It's a little strange when you see them just sitting on the ground. Because, you, you know, it's just... You're usually just so used to them... <laughs> so used to them hanging upside down. And there's a beautiful girl there. Uh, but we're here, guys. I'll actually show you footage of our jumping spider. Uh, hunting the other day. I actually gave a tiny little locust. And it was such an amazing takedown. Like she just jump on it. She bit into it a few times. You could see what the the venom and stuff affecting the locust after it was bitten a good couple of times. And it was it was honestly just fascinating to watch. It was pretty it's pretty brutal to be honest. I mean I thought I thought Mantis is eating a prey alive was quite brutal, but this girl, this girl is just oh no messing about definitely so guys we'll do this girl last because i'm probably going to do that off screen just because those fruit flies might be a bit of a pain in the bum so we'll grab our budwing girl as the as this one actually grows a little bigger than a budwing mantis there's more room in here so i think i'll put the cryptic girl in there and i'll put the budwing girl in this one but of course obviously we need to give it a little bit of water because i would imagine they'd be quite thirsty after a journey from 
all the way down south in England. Let's give all this a little, little water down. There's a little girl here. Oh, she's curious. Look at that, wondering what's going on. <laughs> she's got lovely colours. Want to come out and say hello? Nope, nope, she just wants to groom herself like a little posh cat. <laughs> Come here, my girl. There we go. Lovely budwing girl. Deciding to go walkies. Well, well, my dear, you can. I've seen enough of you now. Time to get. We've got a few more mantises to get through. So there you go. Enjoy your new little home. But yeah, guys, we'll just let her explore our little house just now. Well, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it, but. Yeah, we'll just let her chill out in there. See, as these manatees are a little bigger, guys, I'll probably maybe take some of that stuff out, but it looks, it's actually not too bad just now, actually, in all honesty. But, because that Vietnamese girl is quite small still, but this is perfect for the cryptic mantis, in my opinion. But the good thing is, this girl is like right on the mesh, so she should be, famous last words, <laughs> a lot easier to coax out. Oh, what a stunning specimen you are. Just love the way those kind of species put their, their little hands up that little bit more. In the back, she's facing, the, she's not exactly facing the correct way for us, but looking right into her new terrarium, her new home. So there's a cryptic mantis. Oh, she's beautiful. She's not camera shy anyway. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you can't. Oh! My heart was in my mouth there. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> she actually jumped right out and came right onto my hand and bounced off and then fell into the tub. Perfecto. Look at that, guys. Perfecto. Two fruit flies, not a one escapee. Look at you. Absolutely stunning. Vietnamese ghost mantis. They don't really look much different, but it's the time they're adults, guys. They're, oh, I mean, I'll put, a, I'll put a photograph up here and you'll see. I'll also put a photograph of the budwing when she's an adult, which I know most of you have already seen. And the cryptic mantis also. Come on, I just want to feed you. And care for you. Oh, she's having a little. Oh. No, oh, she's deciding that she's more interested in walking somewhere else. Oh, no, there we go. Absolutely beautiful. The colorations on her face and everything as well. Calls for a little thumbnail there, guys, eh? There we go. Lovely. Three successful rehouses. Just exploring right now. <laughs> See, Mitch has put three flies in there for this girl, but she does look kind of thin. I mean, she looks as if she has eaten something, but, you know, she might have just lost her appetite, or, as I said, she maybe might be due to molt. So, it's safe to say the layer is now full capacity. So we have this girl here, a budwing mantis. We have this girl here who's just deciding to have a dance. <laughs> of course we obviously have this big girl who's hiding peekaboo. There she is. We of course have our, what is he meant? Oh there he is. Our ghost mantis boy. And now our Vietnamese ghost mantis. Get old. 
So yeah guys, these mantises were sent from Mitch from Unseen Universe. This is obviously his little card here with his Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and stuff on it. So if you want to give him an email or, you know, contact him on Facebook or something, he'll, he'll be able to help you out, you know, if it's your first mantis you're getting or something like that. But he does have a really, really good range of different mantis species. If you're looking for something specific, you can always, as I said, just message him or email him or something. He's, he's usually quite responsive, but just bear in mind, guys, if he doesn't respond to you right away, it's just because even within the next day or two, sometimes he doesn't reply for a couple of days. It's just because he's really busy and if you check his Facebook page out, you'll understand why, because he has like, I think it was like 10,000 likes or something the last time I checked, 11,000 likes. He's obviously really busy and you know, boxing all these mantises for people and so you know, just obviously give him time to reply back to you. And so anyway, thanks to Mitch for sending these praying mantises out to me that I got. Uh, thanks very much to you guys obviously for watching as usual. You know, just thanks for your love, your support, your care, your, you know, your commenting, your likes, you know, it's just, it's, it's all really appreciated. So you know, like this, share this, just the usual guys, you know, subscribe, I'll put all the usual stuff here as I always do. So thanks very much for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next video.